Welcome to All Things Korean. My name is Semmul and this is my boyfriend Nicholas. Hi. Hi. He is Singaporean, um, but he's topic level 5, which means his Korean is pretty advanced. And today we are going to see how well he knows his onomatopoeias. In Korean classes, you normally don't learn onomatopoeias. No, language classes don't teach all of these information. Yeah, and I think you mostly learn them in nursery school or kindergarten. Did you learn an old McDonald's? Yes. Right? I think like, so when you're younger, you learn those animal sounds and onomatopoeias. As an adult, you don't really get to learn them. Don't look at me this. So I'm going to ask him a total of 10 onomatopoeias, and we're going to see how well he knows them, and you guys can check how well you know them as well. So today's topic is going to be food and eating related sounds like the sounds that come out of your mouth when you're talking the sounds that come from different food textures and one sound that has to do with uh, cooking related so we're going to get started the first one is 꼬르륵. 꼬르륵? it's a sound that comes from your body uh, it's for when you're when you're hungry Ooh, wait did you know this already yes okay fine so 꼬르륵 is the sound of your stomach growling Example, uh, 배가 꼬르륵거려 or 배에서 꼬르륵 소리가 난다. Number two is uh, 꿀꺽. 꿀꺽. I'm going to have to say it's for when you take a gulp of water and it goes down your throat and it's like gulp. Like 꿀꺽. Ooh, that's very close. It's just the sound of swallowing something. But it doesn't, it's not water. It can be like uh, like when you're hungry. And you're looking at something, and then like you swallow, oh, you just, swallow just like any, any. So it can be like you know swallowing any kind of food. It can be water, any a single gulp, a one-time gulp. All right. Okay. Well, you're doing very well. Okay. Next one is a sound that comes from a particular food texture. So when I when I chew a food that has this particular texture, it goes asak asak. That one's easy. It what? sounds like. When you're chewing something crispy, like a, a tidbit or fried food. Oh, that's close but not quite. Wait, that was actually my next one. So you are thinking pasak pasak. Yes. Okay, so pasak pasak, which was my next one when I can't do anymore because he guessed it already. Pasak pasak is something that is like crispy and dry, like dry kind of crispy, mm. like uh, fried chicken or crackers or something like that. Asak asak is for something that's fresh. Uh, like an apple or um, gochu <laughs> gochu like chilies not chili you know those uh, I don't know if you guys know in Korea there's this like very big chili pepper that they give you when you go for Korean barbecue mm -hmm. and then you just you know you you jiggle in, uh, oh, in okay. and then you eat it and it makes that like very fresh crispy not crispy fresh crunchy sound so it's when you chew fresh vegetables or fruits or fruits which have the the, the crunchy wholesome vegetable sound fruity yes, sound yes vegetable right. fruity sound so the next one was pasak pasak but you know we're gonna pass that damn it next is this is a body sound mm -hmm. chop 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 um, hmm. Maybe it's the, the sound of you smacking your lips. Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> Did you guess that? Yes. What? Completely. I, mean, I guess I'm just a pretty good guesser. I guess you are. So, chop chop is the sound that you make when your lips are smacking. When you're eating really loudly, when you're chewing loudly, my parents would go, chop chop korijima. Chop chop korida. That means making sounds when you chew. It's like, ooh. Or when you're texting with someone and you go, chop. Dot dot dot. It's like when you're talking to someone and you have nothing else to say, you can say uh, like during text you can say job or so when you're like arguing with a friend and you're losing the argument and you have nothing to say, you don't have like a counter argument, then you can just job. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Sneezy. Wait, so how does that sound sound like in real life? It's like you know. So. It's like yeah, that. yeah. Oh, like a smack. Thing. Isn't that the sound where you, when you use, when you want to reprimand somebody or make somebody feel bad about themselves? You go like, you know, look at them and like. Oh no, no, that is the uh, same sound. That one is. Okay. Jit. 
the the shiwa pachi j j j. Okay, sounds exactly the same. The one is j, one is j j. It's like. Okay. <laughs> Next one is ododo. Ododo. Oh, a, this is a texture. This is a texture. Ododo. Mm. Wow, this is very challenging. Food texture. Yeah. So, what kind of texture are you chewing that would make an ododo sound? Something that is, I'm gonna have to say it's something that is very juicy. For example, you are chewing on a juicy pineapple. Okay. And you know, you have that moist, the moisture wicking about in your mouth. And <laughs> smoshing all around and it sounds like odor though. Smoshing all around? Yes. Okay, uh, uh no. Finally, you got something wrong. Okay. Um, ododok is for something very, very hard, like a like candy. Like when you're having a lollipop and instead of sucking on it, you just like bite it and it makes a very loud crunch. Oh. So it's not a crunch in like a biscuit kind of sense, but like a crunch like... So when, when you're chewing something that's very brittle, yeah. something that is broken from a whole solid piece to many smaller pieces. Yeah. Next one, it's a sound that comes from your mouth. Hururu. Hururu. Hururu? Mm. I'm gonna have to say it's a, it's a sound that happens when you inhale a large amount of air. Like that? Yes. Ooh, that's kind of close. It's kind of close, but hururu is for uh, slurping noodles. It's a noodle slurping sound. Oh. <laughs> oh, I would have guessed that. I just thought it was a sound that was produced independently without any external <laughs> stimuli. So sciencey. Okay, but uh, yeah, I guess you were pretty close though. Hururu is for slurping small amounts of noodles. Next one is also a sound that comes from your mouth and it's parkok parkok or just parkok. So this, so this is a sound that happens without any um, external factors. Polkok, polkok. I don't know what you mean by external factors. If I gave you... If wait, wait, tell me the sound again. Polkok, polkok. Polkok, polkok. I feel like this is, this is a sound that, that a bird makes. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> no. No. Did you give up? No, give me give me another try. Parkok parkok. It's a body sound, right? Yeah, it's, it's a sound that comes from your mouth region. Okay. Um, I just I can't think of any sound that yeah, any body movement that would produce such a sound. It's like a parkok parkok is a chugging sound, guzzling. When I mean, you guzzling water, so it's just yeah. like gluk gluk gluk. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. sound. That sound. Right. Parkok parkok. So when you're really really thirsty and you're drinking water very hastily. Mm, interesting. Interesting. Oh, we're down to our last one already. The last one is actually last three. I'm gonna give you three boiling sounds. So when you're when you're boiling, you have like a scale of one to ten. How boiling is it? Is it boiling a little bit or is it boiling a lot? I'm gonna give you three sounds and you have to guess which is the order. Okay. okay? Number one is bugul bugul. Bugul bugul. All right. Number two is bogul bogul. Bogul bogul. Okay. And number three is pal pal. Pal pal. I am gonna say the least amount of boiling is pal pal. Mm -hmm. Followed by bogul bogul. Mm -hmm. Followed by bogul bogul. Oh, okay. Because bogul bogul sounds like a more explosive sounding uh, sound. So, you know, usually that, that would probably mean that the temperature of the water is higher. Okay. Uh, you got it in the complete opposite. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Par about this. Okay, so par par is when something is like uh, really really boiling. Par par gulnamul. So it's like violently boiling. So it's like splishing and splashing everywhere. Yes, That's how yes. Pow pow. Par par, pal, pal, yeah. Par par. Par par And it also uses the more explosive consonant. Bogul bogul. Par par. Okay, that makes sense. All right, and bogul bogul is for like small amounts of water or a little bit like bubbling, tenjangjige and stuff. When it's simmering, you know, you get slight bubbles and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Then it's bogul bogul. And bogul bogul is just boiling, regular boiling. Okay. And you can also use bogul bogul when you're angry 
and your insides are boiling with anger. You can say, ah, 속이 부글부글 끓어오른다. Yeah, so that's all I have for today. You did a pretty good job. Yeah, I think uh, I did pretty decently well at the start. Yeah. But towards the end, I kind of uh, you got like two off. wrong, right? Two or yes. three. Couple, couple more mistakes at the end. Yeah, this is what a topic level five does. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do this again? Mm, yes. As a post review, I think this is very useful, especially when you read a lot of webtoons where you want to understand the context of what is happening in a manhwa. That's true. So Korean manhwas are actually a lot easier for beginner learners or intermediate learners to learn the language because it's it's full of a lot of pictures mm -hmm. and you know the words are actually a lot more simplified. A lot of the, the sounds that are produced from the body or from food textures come out in all these manhwa to illustrate Oh uh, yeah, uh, that happening. So yeah. I think this this video is very useful for people who you know want to start reading some manhwa. I video. guess so because in dramas and stuff you just hear it, but in cartoons they need to produce that sound with yes. text, right? Okay, so we will come back with another one some other time. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe to this channel for more videos on Korean language and culture. 다음 영상에서 만나요. Bye bye. Yay.